Hello everyone and welcome. In this session, we are going to explore the world of video streaming protocols. We will cover some of the most popular technologies used to deliver video content over the internet, including Real-Time Streaming Protocol, or RTSP, Real-Time Messaging Protocol, or RTMP HTTP Live Streaming, or HLS, and Dynamic Adaptive Streaming over HTTP or DASH. Let's dive in and understand how these protocols work and where they are used. Before we get into the specifics, let's define what video streaming protocols are. Streaming protocols are essentially standardized methods for delivering video content over the internet. They define how data is formatted, transmitted, and processed between servers and clients. These protocols are crucial for ensuring a smooth and efficient streaming experience. Some key functions of these protocols include enabling real-time or on-demand video delivery, supporting various devices and network conditions, balancing quality, latency, and reliability, and providing mechanisms for security and content protection. Let's start with Real-Time Streaming Protocol, or RTSP. RTSP is a network control protocol designed for entertainment and communication systems. It allows you to send commands to a streaming media server, such as play, pause, and stop, similar to using a video cassette recorder. RTSP works in conjunction with Real-Time Transport Protocol, or RTP, for the actual delivery of the media. It is commonly used in internet protocol cameras, surveillance systems, and live streaming applications. However, it has limited browser support and typically requires specialized players to function. On the right, you can see a basic diagram illustrating the setup and play sequence between an RTSP client and server. A client sends a setup request, receives an OK response, then sends a play request, and finally receives the real-time protocol media stream. Here is an example of a setup request and response using RTSP 1.0. The client sends a setup message to the server, indicating the media and transport parameters, and the server responds with a session identifier and confirms the transport settings. Next, let's explore Real-Time Messaging Protocol, or RTMP. RTMP was developed by Adobe for high-performance transmission of audio, video, and data. It is characterized by low latency streaming, which is achieved through persistent transmission control protocol connections. This protocol has been widely used for live streaming to platforms like YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. There are several variants of RTMP, including RTMPS for secure transmission, RTMPE for encrypted transmission, and RTMPT for tunnel transmission through firewalls. Note that it has limited browser support and requires Flash Player, which is now deprecated. Looking at the diagram, you can see a typical real-time messaging protocol architecture. The encoder, such as Open Broadcaster Software or XSplit, sends the stream to an RTMP server, which then distributes it either directly to viewers or through a content delivery network. The diagram also illustrates the RTMP handshake process, which involves steps like C0, C1, S0, S1, S2, and C2 to establish a connection. Here is an example of a real-time messaging protocol uniform resource locator structure. It starts with RTMP, forward slash, forward slash, followed by the server address, application name, and stream name. For example, RTMP, forward slash, forward slash, live at example at com slash, live slash, stream 123. Now let's discuss HTTP Live Streaming, or HLS. HLS was developed by Apple and is known for its reliability and high-quality streaming. It uses standard hypertext transfer protocol for delivery, making it compatible with content delivery networks and firewalls. HTTP Live Streaming supports adaptive bit rate streaming, which allows it to adjust to varying network conditions. It also supports encryption and digital rights management for content protection. It has native support in Internet Operating System, Mac Operating System, Safari, and most modern browsers, making it a versatile choice. The diagram illustrates the architecture of HTTP live streaming. The source video is encoded and then segmented into short transport stream files. An HTTP server delivers these segments to the client, 
which uses a master uniform resource locator file to play the video. Here is an example of an HTTP live streaming playlist file, identified by the XTM3U tag, followed by directives like version, target duration, media sequence, and the paths to the media segments. Let's delve into dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP or DASH. Dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP is an open standard for adaptive bitrate streaming, developed by Moving Picture Experts Group and widely adopted across the industry. It uses media presentation description manifest files, which describe the structure and availability of the media content. Dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP supports multiple codecs and content protection systems. It is used by major streaming services like YouTube and Netflix. The diagram shows the dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP architecture, starting from the content source being encoded and packaged by the dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP packager. This package is then delivered via content delivery network to the dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP player. The player selects different quality levels based on network conditions. Here is an example of a media presentation description file, which defines the structure of the video, including adaptation sets, mime type, representations, and segment templates. Now let's compare these protocols to help you understand their strengths and weaknesses. RTSP has very low latency, but medium scalability and poor browser support. It is best for internet protocol cameras and surveillance systems, Real-time messaging protocol has low latency and medium scalability, but also poor browser support, requiring Flash. It's suitable for live streaming and social media. HTTP live streaming has high latency but excellent scalability and browser support, making it ideal for video on demand and over-the-top platforms. Dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP offers medium latency, excellent scalability, and good browser support which is compatible with most modern browsers. It is used for premium over-the-top content and multi-device streaming with digital rights management. Choosing the right protocol depends on your specific needs. If low latency is critical and you need control, consider real-time streaming protocol. If you need low latency but less control, real-time messaging protocol might be suitable. For wide compatibility without strict latency requirements, HTTP live streaming is a good choice. If you need digital rights management protection and advanced adaptive bit rate capabilities, dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP is a strong contender. As shown in the common use cases, real-time streaming protocol is often used for security and surveillance, real-time messaging protocol and HTTP live streaming for live streaming, HTTP live streaming and dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP for mobile streaming, and dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP and HTTP live streaming for premium content. Finally, let's look at some future trends in streaming. Low latency HTTP live streaming and dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP are emerging to compete with real-time messaging protocol and real-time streaming protocol. Web real-time communication is becoming more prevalent for ultra-low latency streaming. Advanced content protection technologies and cloud gaming protocols are also on the rise. To learn more, check out the Apple developer documentation for HTTP live streaming, the dynamic adaptive streaming over HTTP industry forum, and the Adobe real-time messaging protocol specification. Tools like FFmpeg, Open Broadcaster Software Studio, and Video.js are invaluable. Consider professional certifications and online courses to deepen your understanding. Tools like Wireshark and Bitmovin Analyzer can help with testing and analysis. Thank you for joining this session. I hope you found it informative. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.